Good morning. Today is January 31st. And I just want to say that, um, so starting the next month, February, we are still going to be doing some of these, but I have other devotionals I read. So whatever the Holy Spirit leads me to read, that's what I'm going to, um, post. Okay. So it may not be out of this one. It may be out of the Bible or it may be out of my, um, 365 days for women one um, again just because it's a women thing does not mean that it can't be for men so it it could be anything um, but I think that's the way the Holy Spirit is leading me is to um, you know not just keep it out of this because you know I, I read things and it's just like oh you know what I mean it's so good and it's like a message and then I feel all this good stuff so so that's what we're gonna do start in February 1st okay um, today's message is, it's all good. Everything God made is good, and nothing should be refused if it is accepted with thanks. That is 1 Timothy 4.4. 4. We tend to filter things with an eye for something that is either good or bad. It is our nature to look at someone, and because of their way they look or behave, we might determine they are bad. This is not the way Jesus looks at the world. God created a good world, a good earth with good people. The next time you are tempted to disregard someone, try to look at them from Christ's perspective. Don't refuse them. Rather, see that they are good but broken. It doesn't mean you have to accept their bad behaviors. It just means you have to see their true worth as someone who is loved by God. Act of kindness, thank your boss. Okay, we all do this, right? We all do this. We look at somebody, um, maybe they got a lot of piercings or a lot of tattoos or gauges in their ears or something like that. And we automatically think that they're bad people or they got trouble with the law or... You know, we're very judgmental. People are very judgmental. And, you know, even people, like, I'm all tatted up. You know what I mean? And people even look at me and, you know, judge me because I'm all tatted up. But does Jesus look at these people like that? You know what I mean? Because Jesus loves everybody. We have to love everybody. We cannot sit there and look at this person and be like, oh, because they look like this or they do something, right, that you don't like, why are you judging them? The only one that can judge them is God. That's it. That, that's the only judge in this story is God. And we really have to have that unconditional love because Jesus loves everybody, right? And... Jesus didn't look at the, like, okay, Jesus hung out with prostitutes and sinners and tax collectors, right? Because those are the people that need help. And if you think about it, if you think about it, the, um, the people that maybe are broken and going through something, or maybe they're a drug addict and they need help, but yet you're going to sit there and just look at them and not help them. Well, I'm telling you, you need to help them. And if they don't want to hear it, most drug addicts do not want to hear it, it's okay because you don't give up. That's the thing because somebody has to believe in them. Somebody believed in me. That's why I'm here talking to you. And they didn't give up on me at all. And even though I had epic fails throughout this transformation, and I'm still learning. But I had epic fails. I did. I, I had some epic ones. And, I mean, I relapsed. You know what I mean? So that was an epic fail. And, but they didn't give up on me. They did not. They prayed with me. And so, like, I'm so grateful for my church family because they didn't, you know, I let them know I, you know, I uh, relapsed. And, nope. They were there helping me. What do you need? What do we need to do? We need to pray and everything like that. And, you know, they helped me. They didn't say, oh, because you went back to drugs, you're out of the church. No, 
Mm -mm. No, they did not. And if any church does that to you, that is not the right church. I'm just saying. It is not the right church. Because your church family is supposed to love you no matter what. And help you with your problems. Not shun you and tell you you're a bad person. Because we're all sinners and nobody's better than the other. Just so you know. But anyway. So today, when you're looking at people and you're trying to judge, stop judging, okay? And look at them from God's eyes. Look at them how Jesus would look at them and be like, oh, that's what I would do. Put the Holy Spirit up in there, okay? And I love you. Have a wonderful and blessed day. Come on, Gabriel. Oh, scoochie, scoochie.